Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in North Bumblefuck, Washington State here on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon. What are we? September 2nd, 2017. So it's time for me to dive into my weekly clueless moron roundup rant where I simply go on the pages of the mainstream media to see how this planet's collective IQ is heading directly into the toilet. Now, of course, since there is only one story on the mainstream media, this news about Hurricane Harvey, of course, all I need to do to find a, a clueless fucking moron real estate investor is look in the mirror. I don't have to go on the mainstream media Good God, guys, once again, I have narrowly dodged the bullet. Uh, your, old, your, your old sharp house flipper real estate investor whose entire everything, pretty much, not counting my physical silver, uh, my, in, my, in, my entire income, my retirement, everything, based on a rental house. I bought in a floodplain in the state of Texas, uh, and <laughs> only a matter of if uh, I do have a house for sale uh, in a floodplain in Texas, send me a note. That would be cash buyers, please, <clears throat> with a quick close. But anyway, uh, so. Uh, not that hard to find other clueless born roundup rant stories out of Hurricane Harvey. I think it was Fiesta Cranberry sent me this one. Texas Republican rejects Canadian offer of real help for hurricane victims, asks for prayers instead. So, uh, you know, this is the thing about what's so great about being an eco-Nazi is we can, uh, we, we can enjoy all levels of the onion. First, we get to have the cheap knock-on laugh about this goddamn Texas Republican who, uh, who said no thank you to a bunch of damn blankets and pillows. And, and told these Canadians just to pray, just to pray for the uh, victims of Harvey. And uh, th th there you go, that'll do a lot of good. But of course the article from, uh, what outfit is this? Uh, addictinginfo.com And they're saying uh, after laughing at these Texas Republicans looking for prayers, what the people of Texas need right now are not prayers. They need blankets, beds, and electrical power, all of which are in short supply because God sent a fucking hurricane to slam the Texas coast. Yeah, that's, that's what they need. They need a fucking blanket as much as they need a prayer. You know, it's goddamn hundred degrees down there probably. Send them a fucking blanket. You know. Anyway, and this is one I predicted. This was the the single easiest no shit Sherlock conspiracy wacko prediction I have ever made before the hurricane ever hit. I predicted this headline and here it is. Conspiracy theorists claim Hurricane Harvey is a quote weather weapon. I guess other some people or other people believe that the storm was engineered, you know, by the New World Order wanting to depopulate us all, perhaps by a nuclear fusion reactor. This is from Alternet. Uh, 
the act of God is a legal term used to refer to natural disasters, disasters that occur outside of human control, usually invoked when denying insurance claims. The phrase signifies that no single person is responsible for damage wrought by things like hurricanes, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, get to the goddamn point. Uh, will they ever get to the point? Okay, finally. While most sane people point to climate change as the likely contributing culprit, a growing online community is presenting a conspiracy theory or several versions of the same theory called the Weather Wars. There you go. Uh, and, you know, oh, good, they're, they're quoting uh, Mike Adams. Mike Adams. I've had, uh, you know, this is that guy with Alex Jones' dick in his mouth uh, talking about how a growing number observers websites and analysts are concluding that Hurricane Harvey was, quote, engineered and made into a weather weapon through a combination of ground-based temperature manipulation tools and chemtrail seeding to inflict economic damage and achieve psychological goals involving terror and death. Thank you, Mike, the health ranger, for uh, clearing that up. Another theory claims that there are massive vapor generators that, I guess, produced this. Uh, now, now again, guys, uh, I, I've heard enough of this horseshit, but again, being an eco-Nazi, I enjoy peeling back several layers of the onion. And uh, while this uh, Hurricane Harvey, it's the same story we heard after Sandy, the same story we heard after Katrina, this unadulterated horseshit from these clueless fucking morons uh, who do not have the... Uh, the critical thinking and discernment abilities of Sancho Panza trying to differentiate between a chipmunk and a stump. Okay, now number one, anybody who claims that weather manipulation is a conspiracy theory, pull your head out of your clueless moron ass. They have been manipulating the weather for good God for about 70 years. Weather manipulation is very real. Saying that, weather manipulation had zero to do with the, this hurricane or any other hurricane other than the weather manipulation created by the fossil fuel industry that hilariously enough is being uh, attacked by this hurricane. Anyway, moving on. Let's see. What happened to this poor ABC reporter after reporting these clueless fucking morons looting during, of course, uh, of course, what happened uh, during this hurricane is people were out in droves breaking into people's houses and stores, getting their fucking greedy, clueless moron hands on everything they could. And so this, I guess, this uh, news reporter was up in a helicopter and was kind of reporting to the cops where these fuckers were. And then uh, these are some of the responses he got on uh, his Facebook page. How about... Fuck off, snitch. There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
anyway, anyway, I have not um, enough of, enough of that. Okay, I'm gonna skip over that one. Anyway, guys, I've had about enough of Hurricane Harvey and the fucking looters and the climate change deniers and the uh, and the conspiracy wackos and the fucking chemtrail wackos. Let's move along. What was going on in the cruise ship industry this week? And where do you think not only any cruise ship industry, but the booming cruise ship industry in the state of Alaska? I don't know if this was the very boat my sister was on or not. As we see, whale gets entangled in cruise ship anchor. There you go, a humpback whale became entangled in an anchor line on a cruise ship in southeast Alaska getting stuck for 12 hours while federal authorities uh, and the boat's crew worked to free it. Uh, ultimately, the anchor chain wrapped around the whale's lower jaw was cut in hopes it could wiggle loose. Uh, it looks like this one got away, but of course his jaw's probably broken. Uh, there you go. Uh, this is... Let's see, who is this? Someone from the ship. Some spokesperson from the cruise ship. Quote, these things happen. The whale just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. No, you fucking clueless moron bitch. Your fucking cruise ship was in the wrong place at the wrong time. There is no right time for a fucking cruise ship to be in Alaska. Uh, Jesus. Moving along from Alaska to Tanzania. I'm going to talk about this more on Monday, probably. Tanzania invites bids for hydropower project inside game reserve. Tanzania has invited builds to build a 2100 megawatt hydroelectric plant in a world heritage site renowned for its animal populations despite opposition from conservationists to the long delayed project. There you go. Uh, Apparently, uh, the government could give a flying fuck about the World Heritage Site. Uh, anyway, I'm going to talk more about this on Monday. It's You know, it's so hard anymore to separate my clueless fucking moron roundup rant from my global industrial civilization rant, from my Donald Trump rant. What is going on in the Walmart stores of America as the little bundles of joy go back to school? So I guess they were having a back to school sale at a Walmart in Detroit, Michigan. You know, already we, we've got trouble brewing. A back-to-school sale in, uh, at a Walmart in Detroit results in woman pulls out gun in Walmart during row over last notebook. A woman is facing criminal charges after pulling a gun on two other women in a row over a school notebook. 
the argument broke out between two pairs of women over the last notebook at a back to school sale. Uh, police are now appealing for witnesses to the quote senseless act of violence and all four of the women are facing criminal charges. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Police said the gun was loaded, but that there was no round in the chamber. It is unclear who got the notebook. Okay, as long as we're talking about cops, let's just take a, a short tour around uh, America's finest in blue. Here is police officer who dragged nurse screaming from hospital over blood sample could face criminal charges. A detective may face criminal charges after he arrested a nurse who refused to take a blood sample from an unconscious patient during a standoff that lasted several minutes, prosecutors say. Uh, anyway, the, the details of this are a little bit complicated, but once again, uh, we, we see the cops really, really calming down an overwrought situation. Okay, what is going on in my good old home state of of Georgia, actually, the county next to where I grew up. This is Cobb County, Georgia, in northwest Atlanta. Quote, we only shoot black people. That's the quote from the white cop. Georgia police lieutenant under investigation after comment during DUI stop. Georgia police have opened an internal investigation after dash cam footage captured a white police officer appearing to say to a nervous driver, apparently a white driver, during a traffic stop, quote, remember, we only kill black people. There you go. Uh... I'm, uh, so the female, the white female driver said she was hesitant to move her hands from the wheel as ordered because she has just seen way too many videos of cops suggesting that she may have been afraid of getting shot. Uh, the cop, uh, named... Greg Abbott, isn't that the governor of Texas? Uh, Officer Abbott responded to her, quote, but you're not black. Remember, we only shoot black people. We only kill black people, right? All the videos you've seen, have you seen the black people get killed? There you go. Uh... Abbott's attorney said in a statement to Channel 2 that Abbott's comments, quote, must be observed in their totality to understand their context. Yes, that's like Guy McPherson uh, trying to explain away his comments that they must be understood in their totality to understand. Uh, that This is called white men not taking any responsibility. Okay, let's go from Georgia cops to New York cops, or at least ex-cops. Ex-NYPD cop charged after allegedly living with her mom's corpse, her mom's corpse in bed and breakfast. A Pennsylvania woman is behind bars and facing charges related to the death of her mother, who cops say she continued to live with 
even after the older woman's body was decomposed beyond recognition. This is Maura Ritchie, age 52, charged with abuse of a corpse. Jesus. Uh, the autopsy was unable to determine the details because of her body's advanced state of decomposition. Uh, anyway, so of course the daughter went and uh, was cashing the mother's checks. Of course that's what it's about, is to keep getting the Social Security payments. You've been seeing this story for a hundred years, and you'll see it right up to the day in a few years when Social Security runs out. Okay, as long as we're up there in New York, 10-year-old girl beaten and dragged by a car in New York for charge. A 10-year-old girl who was beaten repeatedly, forced to run with heavy packs and dragged behind a car, escaped her tormentors as they slept. There you go. Police in central New York said Friday four adults were charged after the bruised and malnourished child escaped on Wednesday from her home in rural Oswego County north of Syracuse. Uh, her treatment, which included beatings, had apparently been getting worse since April. Jesus. Uh, Anyway, guys, I don't think you need to hear the rest of this. Uh, the girl's 34-year-old mother was charged with endangering the welfare of her child, and three other adults at the home were charged with second-degree assault. But we're going to wind up in... Australia. I'm assuming this has to be Australia. Many versions of this story. Man charged with slitting kangaroo's throat. A man who allegedly slit a kangaroo's throat and uploaded the disturbing video of the killing to social media has been charged in Australia with destroying protected wildlife. The video clip showed the man approaching the animal that appears to be wounded, uh, talking to it in Mandarin, then grabbing its tail and slashing its neck with a large knife. The person filming it can be heard laughing. There you go. Uh, the man faces a fine of $30,000 and two years in jail. And let's all hope that he gets everything he deserves. What he deserves is to get his fucking throat slit by a goddamn kangaroo is what he deserves. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this week's Clueless Moron Roundup rant and uh, head back up to hang out with my eight Clueless Morons at the lake. So I'm, I'm hanging out in, my, in the world's most beautiful campsite. I don't know if you heard my last rant or not. With eight Clueless Morons, on, I'm spending my Labor Day weekend, there's a rumor that there's another two bringing their four children, four children, every one of them under the age of six. I hear some rumor are heading to my campsite. So uh, I am having a full weekend of hanging out with clueless fucking morons. I will, I will bring you a report uh, on Tuesday how my weekend 
went the ham bones weekend with the clueless fucking morons but i'm gonna get back to my clueless morons and uh join them in a margarita for the end times bye guys